Number five, Terrell went to the bank when he got his paycheck. He had $315.45 in his bank account. He deposited $357.55. Check. Terrell withdrew $150 before he left the bank. How much money does Terrell have in his bank? So there's a lot going on with Terrell in this problem. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my window pane. I'm going to reread and I'm going to think about, well, what's happening? What action is happening with each piece? The first thing that I notice is that none of these pieces are equal. So that tells me that I'm either going to be adding to find some information or I'm going to be subtracting. So let's reread it again. It says Terrell went to the bank to get his paycheck. He had $315.45 in his bank account. So when I read that and I stop and think, this is what he started with. The next statement says that he deposited $357.55 check. So what happens when you deposit something? Well, you're adding to. So we're going to add this amount to the part that he already had. The next statement says Terrell withdrew $150 he left that was left in the bank. He withdrew $150 before he left the bank. So when we think about the word withdrew, we think about taking away. So we're going to subtract $150. Once we do all these actions, that will tell us what Terrell has in his bank account. So we can start this by saying Terrell has blank in account. And again, we're talking about money, so I'm going to go ahead and put a dollar sign here. And we just went through all of our details up here, so I'm just going to draw an arrow. And I'm going to think about this problem. I'm going to probably lay this out in GMA format just because we have a lot of actions going on. So if we're thinking about what he started with, that's what we want to start with, with our, in our problem. $315.45. Now what are we going to do with the $315? $15.45? Well, we're going to add $357.55. So because we're going to be adding that first, I'm going to go ahead and put parentheses around this so that I know that I want to put those things together first. And finally, we're withdrawing $150. So I have to think about, well, where is that going to come into our number sentence? So if I'm withdrawing, I'm going to withdraw after I add the total. So the 150 is going to go at the end. Now I want you to stop and think for a minute. Do I necessarily need those parentheses? The answer is actually no. If I lay it out in this order, parentheses aren't really necessary, but I think it's nice to go ahead and put those in there because it does show that you want to put something together before you take something else away. All right, let's make a quick estimate. So I'm going to say this is about 300 and this is about 360. Those are easy numbers to put, away, put together and then we can subtract 150. That's a nice little number. So if I add these together, I get 660 minus 150, and that's going to give me about 510. So my answer should be pretty close to 500. All right, I'm going to let you go ahead and finish the rest of that on your own.